Welcome to Electron Online. To get another appreciation or even more appreciation for black holes, what would you weigh if you were standing at the event horizon? Of course, I wouldn't know how to do that, but let's say that somebody built a platform and you could stand at the event horizon, and let's say on the Earth you weigh 100 pounds, how much would you weigh at the event horizon? And for our friends who don't like pounds, let's say that you have a mass of 100 kilograms, what would be your apparent mass when you're at the event horizon? So pounds, kilograms, doesn't make any difference, except of course, kilograms aren't weight. They're mass and your mass wouldn't change. Your weight in Newtons would change, but it would be your apparent weight in kilograms, so to speak. All right, how do we do that? As follows, we say that F uh, equals MA, or in this case, m times acceleration due to gravity. And if we set that f equal to the force due to gravity, because of Newton's law, we can say that f is equal to f sub g. And so we can say that mg is equal to big G, that's a universal gravitational constant, times m times the big object divided by the distance squared. So notice we can calculate g, which goes into your weight, because we know that weight is equal to mass times g, like this. So we can cancel m on both sides, and we can say that g is equal to g m over r squared. And all we have to do is plug in the mass, which is three solar masses, and the radius. Of course, now we have to figure out what the Schwarzschild radius is. And remember, the Schwarzschild radius was equal to 2,964 meters multiplied times the number of solar masses. Like that. Okay, let's plug that in here and see what we get. So this is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Of course, that would be Newton meter squared per kilogram squared times 3 times the mass of the sun. That would be 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms for the mass of the sun times 3 divided by the Schwarzschild radius squared, which would be 2,964 meters. We would have to square that and we have to square 3 because there's 3 solar masses. All right, that will give us the acceleration due to gravity, and then to find our weight, we simply have to multiply it times our mass. So essentially, notice that this is going to be equal to, well, I'll show you in just a moment how we're going to do that. All right, so first let's calculate this. So 6.67 e to the 11 minus times 3 times 2e to the 30th divided by 2964 squared and divided by 3 squared which is 9 and we get wow g is equal to 7.59 times 10 to the 12th and of course that would be meters per second squared so that's acceleration due to gravity at the event horizon so therefore your weight would be equal to 100 pounds multiply times the ratio and of course I need a lot more space than that because that's a big number let me make that a little bit bigger so times the ratio of the new g which is 7.59 times 10 to the 12th and then divide that by the old g which is 9.8 9.8 meters per second squared so that's the new ratio so we take that, divide by 9.8, and multiply times 100, and that gives us your weight would then be equal to 77.5 trillion pounds. Or, if you like kilograms better, you would weigh as if you had a mass of 77.5 trillion kilograms. That's another way of putting it. So yeah, that would be a quite... A weight gain wouldn't it from 100 pounds to 77.5 trillion at the edge of the event horizon <laughs> you should stay away from the chocolate and the cookies <laughs> yeah but I love chocolate and I love cookies <laughs> all right that's number seven Number eight.